Except two. Six point two left. And Fournier's in on Clay. Fournier's oh on Clay. What's he got? <laughs> Fournier on Clay. All right, Stephen oh, down in the Fournier. Curry. It bows oh. to Clay. Clay. Oh, one on one with Fournier. With, Turn oh. around. Oh, Clay. Oh. Oh. oh, off the back oh, rim. We oh, we And the Whoa. Knicks oh. escape <laughs> in San Francisco, baby. Knicks on game four of the five-game West Coast gauntlet going into San Francisco with their backs against the wall. No RJ. Four straight losses. Ten of the last 12. We might as well say 11 of the last 12 because they lost at the trade deadline. And led by Julius. Let's put some respect on his name, man. This is now another solid outing by Julius Randle putting the team on his back. He led on both ends, led with some energy. Monster game for Julius, 28 points, 16 boards, seven dimes. Can't say much, can't say much more than, than good win, man. This was a full team win. They did not fold when this Golden State team had them against the ropes. Resilient victory and, uh, and, and a much needed victory, man. The Warriors are now 25 and 5 at home. You know, it's been a, an eventful day with, with uh, you know, overshadowing the day, the trade deadline. Um, a lot of talk about the Knicks inactivity. And, and you know, everyone is uneasy about where the direction of this team is going to go. And tonight they had a tough game against the Warriors who got smoked by the Utah Jazz last night mm -hmm. on the road. So everything was setting up for a blowout victory. Maybe the game was going to be over in the first half. Warriors coming back at home. And uh, you thought that they would come back and, and they would, you know, be ready to play. And the Knicks were ready to play. Julius Randle is starting to put together, you know, in the midst of the Knicks losing. Um, fortunately, the Knicks have been losing his efforts. But from the energy department, you got to give him credit there, right? Like yeah. the energy is up. The effort is increasing. Um, he's been rebounding the ball well. 16 rebounds tonight. He was a plus four. Um, but my biggest takeaway tonight, me personally, is uh, is Cam Reddish. Um, four for eight, three or four from the free throw line. Three assists, two steals. You know, 12 points in, in only 19 minutes. Um, being that, you know, again, I'm not necessarily looking at the stats for Cam Reddish. I am looking at just the eye test. You know, when you watch him play from a possession to possession, is this a guy that could be a part of the future? Or is this a guy that's worth the investment? Is this the guy that's worth even the first round pick that we gave up for him? Um, and so, you know, I think tonight and the last few games we've seen, you know, why they call him a tantalizing talent. He's a, he, he was a <laughs> breath of fresh air out there tonight, uh, made some some excellent passes uh, finding guys wide open where we needed to be, playing through the middle of the court. His defensive pressure was good. Got a couple of steals. How many steals did Cam register tonight? Cam registered two steals, two clutch steals tonight, uh, and and had a moment in the clutch, man. Had a moment in the clutch to, to send us home with a dub. Went one for two from the line. Knicks on a whole, uh, obviously, we want to improve on our free throw shooting, but, you know, Cam Reddish was, was great tonight. Absolutely great. You know, I, I'm, I'm not yet a member of the Cam Hive, but I am a card-carrying member of the Burks Hive. That's right, people. Oh, my God. 12 fourth <laughs> quarter points missed the fourth quarter, came out there tonight, and it was crucial minutes, man, because as the Dubs were making their run, missed the fourth quarter, the floor general came out there and did what he needed to do. I think the thing for tonight that we saw that we have been lacking the last couple of games, especially on this West Coast trip, is our second unit, right? The bench unit has been struggling mightily. True, true. And tonight, they come out and they perform, you know. Reddish entering that second unit just makes it more dynamic, honestly, you know, with his length, his ability to run the floor, working off ball, just cutting, and just his relentlessness to attack. It's just different. It adds another dimension that we're kind of lacking. You just see how easy it is for him. You can see why he's tantalizing, just because of his just smooth game and how butter, like how buttery his stroke is. So that plus everybody else. Well, that's my takeaway from tonight's game. But you also gotta give shout outs to Julius Randle. You gotta give it to Evan Fournier as well. Those guys carried the load for the the starters. Kemba didn't have it going tonight. Grimes hit some key shots 
at key moments. Mitchell Robinson was battling. Was it one of his best nights coming back from a back injury? Yeah. So you really got to hold it. You got to give it up to uh, Fournier and Randall for tonight when it comes to the starters as well. But definitely it goes goes back to the bench, finally performing after <laughs> a rough four games and yeah. being able to secure this dub, man. Really, it just comes down, you know, we've been talking about the bench being the strength for the team, Mm -hmm. and uh, they delivered today. Uh, I think at the end of the third, beginning of the fourth, that stretch right there, uh, pushing the pace, they they controlled the game during that moment when Mm -hmm. they had their time. Uh, And Cam Reddish, Cam Reddish gave us a really solid game. Mm -hmm. Uh, Four from eight from the field, one from three from three, three for four, and gave us that free throw. And two steals, giving yep. us a good defensive, uh, good good defense off the bench. Uh, Cam's cutting, um, you know, he shot, uh, when he got contested on three, stepped in for the mid-range. There's just a lot of positives that you see from that bench. And, I, you know, that's the deciding factor of that game where you're able to push pace there and basically just control the game, giving the starters ability to lead in uh, when they come back into the game. <laughs> This this whole day was a whole day of emotions. I just want to say, killer season. I'm walking around in the crib with the chinchilla. You know, I, I just want to make go. everybody feel good right now. Walking around with the chinchilla, killer man, killer. We got killer one. We got season, one. Killer set. We got one, man. We got one. And I, I'm just happy that that you know all from all purposes. It looked like his role is going to be that seventh man off the bench. I like that. I like how he was playing. I like how Tips was mismatching it. And hey, listen, Randall's playing great on his West Coast trip. Let's, mm-hmm. let's just say what it is, man. He's resurrected himself on his West Coast trip. I don't know what took him so long, but this is the last year of Randall right now. So I got to give him props for that. It's just, it's mind boggling that it took them this long. I just want to say that. It's just mind. But yeah, but I just want to say, you know, I'm happy how it went. And, uh, you know, we just got to take it one day at a time now. I mean, they all in. So it is what it is. Whether we like it or not, they all in. Yeah. I just want to see how they handle Cam. And hopefully when RJ gets better, they could put those two together. Because I think when, when Cam and RJ are on the floor together, they're going to shine. Yeah, Peace out. Peace and love, man. Problem.